I'm Steve Lee. I'm uh, curator of planetary sciences here at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And uh, I'm a Mars scientist by, by background. I've been studying the planet Mars using spacecraft since about 1975. So uh, almost from the time that we had spacecraft at Mars. What we're looking forward to now is refurbishing the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been a very major part of, uh, of our uh, observatories since the early 1990s. Hubble is a beautiful uh, observatory. It's in Earth orbit. Uh, we can point it at most parts of the sky. It's a fairly large mirror, and it gives us uh, just absolutely uh, crisp views of, of what's out there. Over the years, the telescope has gotten old, and there are things like gyroscopes on board that, that are used to steer it and point it to where you want to go. There are batteries that have been charged and discharged over 100,000 times now in, in orbit, and they're getting to the point where they're not holding their charge very well. Insulation needs to be replaced. There's a couple of instruments that have failed that they're going to try and, uh, and fix. And so there's this final mission to Hubble, that uh, is, uh, is being launched this year, hopefully in May. And that's going to be, it's called Servicing Mission 4. And so it's uh, intended to do all of these things. It's, uh, it's changing the batteries. It's putting in new gyroscopes. It's adding uh, two new instruments, taking a couple of instruments off and uh, replacing insulation blankets. Um, so it'll effectively be a new telescope again when they're done with this mission if they couldn't do this mission, it's likely got a year or less of lifetime left to it. With this, they're hoping for somewhere between five and ten years more usable uh, life out of Hubble. So Ball Aerospace uh, has provided most of the instruments that are on board Hubble. They've been built up in, in uh, Boulder and we'll, uh, we'll have uh, one of the, the engineers that's been been uh, working on that since uh, since the, the 1980s when he uh, first got out of college. He's been with Hubble from the very beginning. Um, we'll also be talking with uh, with uh, the, the gentleman who came up with the idea of, of the optical fix for Hubble back uh, after it was launched. And we'll also be meeting uh, one of the astronauts that was on the shuttle mission that, that actually put Hubble into orbit. Uh, back in April of 1990. So all of these people are in our local area. All of these people have had very major roles to play uh, with the Hubble program over the years. And uh, we'd just like you to get to know them and, uh, and uh, realize that there are people like this could be your next door neighbor here.